welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to take a journey along the southern coast of the island all the way to South Haven or Herbivore Island. As promised, we are going to take you to the tropical paradise where no large predators spawn on this island. And uh, that makes it great as it is, but it's also, it's a, it's a small island, but it's got a lot of resources and uh, it'll be a great place for us to stop for a while while we are building our base and gathering resources for it. So we're going to basically get tons of resources, especially using that beaver trick that I taught you in the last episode. And then we'll build out this base. We'll do a mobile uh, smithy and an entire fortress on this raft. And at that point, we will be in great shape to continue our game. So before we go there, we are going to have to actually pack up all of our dinosaurs onto our new home that floats on the ocean. But uh, I've already brought them down from the base up there, and we've got all these dinos we need to get onto the raft, which is actually quite a chore. Now, our uh, beaver is already there, because that's where we tamed him. And uh, you may have noticed there are no doors to let us out of this raft, and uh, I'll show you a cool trick later on for how to get your dinosaurs off of the raft and uh, actually get them to pack through the walls of the raft even without having actual doors so that'll be pretty helpful um, and I'm gonna just make this go really fast forward because this is quite tedious although I do love watching that little lister sore bounce up and down he's pretty great so he's gonna give us a little experience boost so I'll keep him around normally I would probably leave him at home so uh, let me grab some of this dinosaur poop also because we will be reasonably soon starting some farms on top of our raft and I'll show you how to do farming, how to grow your own vegetables and uh, you know you can go full on hipster and, uh, and make all organic meals from here on out. So uh, we'll get to that you know pretty soon but first off we are going to take our nice tropical cruise down the coastline and actually get to uh, South Haven Island. Now, South Haven is located at 8585 on the map. It's the very bottom corner of the map. And a couple episodes ago, I showed you how to make pins on your map and drop in coordinates. So check that out if you missed it. But uh, that's where we're going to be heading. And that is quite a long journey. So we're going to start heading in that direction in a second. But uh, I am actually had some glitching issues, and I think it's because the beaver was really close to the rudder of this raft, and he was, I think, causing it to not work correctly, but uh, I would push forward and end up going backwards, and all this crazy weird stuff happened. I'm not sure if it's that, or if I actually glitched into the uh, shore below the ocean. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It was weird. But... Um, if that ever happens to you, try logging out, logging in, moving all your dinosaurs off, and, uh, you know, eventually I got myself dislodged, but it was pretty crazy. So I just made sure that I had about 200 wood, 200 fiber, and 200 hide on my character before I started really sailing out here, because that is the best way to protect your raft from whales at this point in the game. Now whales can hit your raft even if it's a solid stone foundation all the way around it, but, um, and they don't actually hurt your dinosaurs when they do that, they can just sink your raft after about six times of hitting you. Oh, I saw some shark fins out there, a little scary, but they shouldn't bother us when we're all on this raft. So. If uh, a whale hits you, you can actually almost immediately repair your raft. So if you've got all the materials for repairing it, then uh, you can actually just keep him on your person. And whoa, that shark got a little bit close, but I think he was going for the seagull. And uh, you can just immediately repair it if you take two or three hits of damage. And that way your raft doesn't sink while you're heading for shore. Now I'm staying in very shallow water to make sure sharks uh, and whales don't really mess with me. But uh, if I went out into deep water, you're pretty much guaranteed that eventually a whale will come and sink your whole base. So you gotta be really careful of those whales. Now, I don't like going this deep into the water, but I am still pretty close to shore, so I think we'll be okay. You gotta be really careful that you don't hit any rocks, because if a dinosaur touches a rock when it's on your raft, it may stick to the rock and just slide right off your raft, and then you've got a dinosaur in the water. Now, I think that was a seagull attacking us. We got some intense music, but uh, seagulls are just annoying. They're probably not gonna kill your dinosaurs. 
So we are actually really close to South Zone 2, which is one of the other starting zones. And this whole area has some cool, I like there's tons of rocks over here. But it's got some cool plateaus on top of the rocks, and I believe you can actually build on them. Got a couple sharks eating that seagull over there, that's crazy. Now I know we're moving pretty fast, I've got this running in double speed, but this would be about a 30 minute episode if it was not. So, uh, you know, thought you would probably prefer to have a slightly quicker tour of the island, since the raft goes really slowly. Now, somewhere around these mountains is actually an explorer cache, so there's some ruins, and if you open up the box in the ruins, you can get an experience boost for a little while, which is very helpful. Now, I like to use those when I've got a whole bunch of materials gathered, and then just start crafting like foundations and storage boxes one after another really fast once you open up that cache, and that way you maximize the boosted experience time, and you get tons of experience experience piling up really fast when you do that. So keep that in mind if you're looking for any uh, ruins or explorer caches. So uh, I'm always real careful around the mouth of a river because it gets deep, whales can actually get into those, and uh, there's also a lot of times larger dinosaurs that hang around the mouth of rivers. So far we've been pretty lucky, I haven't run into any spinosaurs or anything like that. So uh, those things are really bad news because they can actually sail, or they can swim pretty darn fast and actually, you know, it's hard to sail away from them fast enough. But there we go, we can see South Haven Island off in the distance, it's still pretty far away. Now I could technically make a beeline straight for it and get there faster, but I would almost definitely get sunk by a whale at that point, because anytime you travel in open water for a long enough time, you're probably gonna have major whale problems. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom of my screen, there's a little duck that just landed on our raft. So we sailed right over him, and he's just running around in the raft now, and um, just waddling around stuck between my dinosaurs. So that can happen if you run over those ducks. That's actually the most effective... Oh, I think I just saw a Spinosaur, and I'm going to go into some slightly deeper water. So um, if you do want to tame a duck, they actually lay eggs that you can put in a cooking pot and then you get 10 oil, which is actually the most efficient, fastest way to get oil if you don't actually want to do anything to get it. They'll just lay eggs over time, especially with an over after boost, and you can get all the oil you need. Oh, that shark is freaking me out. So I would normally try to tame that, but if you get close to one of these ducks, a lot of times it'll start attacking you for no reason, and then it can start attacking your dinosaurs, and it just gets ugly. So I'm just gonna leave him where he is and try to avoid him until we get to the safe island. So we've got a uh, loot drop over there, which I could grab, but I really just wanna get over to that island. And I'm having some issues. The rudder's kinda sticky, and we're going really slowly for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if the duck is the problem, or if we're having some glitching issues. This has never happened to me before on a console, so I'm not really sure what the deal is. But uh, I'm gonna just log out real quick and see if that helps. So I am back, and um, it looks like we fixed the issue. Now, when I logged back in, I moved my dinosaurs away from the rudder, and that duck started attacking me, so I had to kill him with a spear. Poor little guy. But, you know, he started it. They can't do much damage to you. They're not very dangerous. They're just kind of annoying when they start attacking you. So here we go. We are on the most dangerous stretch of the journey right now. This is a uh, very deep water, and I'm actually really surprised a whale hasn't started attacking us yet. Now, they actually fix the whale spawns on some maps to where uh, they spawn only in deeper water and don't attack the shallows as much. They may have actually patched that in this, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty surprised I haven't seen a whale yet. But here we are in South Haven, or Herbivore Island. Now on my right hand side is an Ankylosaur, and those things are amazing. They are basically like a beaver for metal. They can get crazy amounts of metal. You can ride them at like, I think level 34 or something like that. But uh, they're just the best things for gathering metal in this whole game. So uh, aside from maybe praying mantis, which are not on the island yet. 
but check it out. This is a great area. You can build a nice PvP base back in the trees there if you want. It's pretty well sheltered. Not a lot of people come out this far. Um, but the best thing is there are no large predators. So it's totally safe for us to just unpack, relax, take a vacation, get all of our dinosaurs out and let them have some fun. So uh, all we've got here is herbivores. And as long as we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. So I could just pack up here and unload all my dinosaurs, which I was thinking about doing. I would just have to break down a wall. But, oh man, that duck... Looks like it uh, died and got stuck inside the raft. Oh well. So I would normally just knock down a couple walls and just unload my dinosaurs here. But I'm going to look for a spot where I can show you this cool trick where you can actually run them into a rock and get them to pass right through the walls of your raft. Now it's really good for you to know this if you're going to be doing much time on a raft because your dinosaurs will eventually glitch through the floor or through your walls and get stuck in your raft somehow. Also, check out that cool tech stegosaur. Now, you guys won't have those for a little while, but eventually you'll get them. They'll add that to the game, and they are stinking cool. So, here we are. I finally found a nice rock that I can do this trick with. So, the rock is sticking just out of the water, and I am just running my dino right into it. And then he falls right off the back of the raft. So, now I'm just going to get him out of the water as fast as possible, because I have seen quite a few sharks in this area. That is the one thing you do have to really worry about with this island, is there's lots of sharks around. And if I can get him to move, thank you. Okay, so now our dino is safely on the beach and out of the water, and we still have full walls all the way around the raft. So if your dino ever gets stuck, try that trick. Oh, check it out. There is metal, oh, and sharks, of course, and dolphins. Those are nice. But uh, there's actually a metal node underwater out here, so it looks like if we run out of metal on the island, which there is some on the very top of that hill, then we can just go deep sea diving and grab some more metal down there. So that'll actually be very handy to know. All right, so I've got my parasaur positioned on the very corner of the raft, and I'm going to come up to this other rock now that I know there's some very close by sharks. And I'm going to see if I can knock him out in shallower water, which will be a lot safer from sharks. And here we go. Uh-oh. I'm worried about my beaver getting stuck in the cabin, because that can happen. Oh, and there's a shark really close by. Okay. So, yeah. Looks like they're okay. They both came off in a good spot. Oh, that shark is right there. So yeah, I probably really should have just knocked down one of my walls in the front and led my dinos out in total safety. But um, at least you now know a trick where you can use to get your dinos off the back of your raft. So there we go. We're just going to get them to follow me off that, uh, off that little rock and they should be totally safe once they finally move. And uh, then they'll be out of the reach of that shark. So there we go, we've got our dinos safely here on Herbivore Island, and I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. And I got some of my dinos unloaded, but I do want to check this really quickly before it disappears, because I think I'm pretty close to the level I need to actually open this. So it looks like it requires level 25 to open a blue crate, and let me see if I've got enough levels to actually hit that, because I should be really close. Bummer! So I just ran out right at level 24. So close. But here we go. We got all of my dinosaurs unloaded. I ran them all into the rocks. And we are now safely parked in Herbivore Island, which is going to be a great place for us to do uh, everything that we need to do for the rest of this base. So in the next episode, I should be able to show you how to make a forge and smithy, and then we're going to go metal on Ark. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.